Outfit of the day, fall colored pants, denim jacket. It's a high of 85 today, so do I need a jacket of any kind? No, but it's fall, so I'm gonna wear one. Five outfit of the day. Oh, we're putting shorts on over our pants, mermaid style. I like it. So the first thing we have going on today is we have to go to Stella's school and drop off the rest of her registration paperwork. We have to make copies of like her birth certificate and vaccine records and then drop off a bunch of things that I had to sign, like her health papers, stuff like emergency contact papers and stuff like that. So I'm super excited because once that's all taken care of, she's officially registered. And then, like I said, as soon as we have our last IEP meeting, I think with like the principal or something and they sign off on everything, then she officially starts school. So <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited for her. Um, I was reading through the parent um, teacher handbook, the parent guidebook or something like that this morning. And I was just getting more and more excited. It said stuff about like birthdays and like what they do in the class and her birthday's in February and it's like in the middle of the week. So she's gonna have her like birthday party at school. She's probably gonna be in school for Halloween. So they're probably gonna have like a Halloween party. It just sounds so cute. So I'm really excited about that. And then I believe we're just gonna run some errands. We have to go to Walmart and get some stuff. Uh, I don't have a school supply list for her. So I do still have to buy her like a backpack, I think. And then I think the rest of the stuff is just supplied because it's pre-K, so they'll supply crayons and stuff like that, I think. Nobody told me to buy anything, so I'm just gonna assume that's right. Okay, Mercury is in retrograde, guys. Um, <laughs> we go there, and the first thing Stella does is run behind the secretary desk screaming. Because I told her we were going to school, and so she thought she was going to like the fun classroom where we had her IEP evaluation. No, we just had to go to the registration office. So she runs behind the desk and the secretaries are like pretty well protected because of like the COVID protocol. There's someone like right in front of me right now. Sorry about that. So I did just go in Walmart and I shopped around um, and bought the stuff that we needed. Mostly just like hangers for clothes because I cleaned out the closet and also bought Stella all her school clothes. So we needed more hangers, also new to toothbrushes and boring stuff like that. But anyway, when I was telling you guys before what was happening, someone parked like right in front of me and they were like standing at the hood of my car. And this camera is really big and noticeable, so I felt really weird about that. But anyway, I'm having a horrible day. First, Stella was screaming in the school. I think I already told you that part. She ran behind the secretary desk and I had to go get her. And um, it was like super noticeable and everything because with the COVID protocol, they have plexiglass like surrounding the desk and it's very obviously not somewhere you're supposed to go. And we both had to run back there while well, I ran after her. And then I sat her down on the bench and she screamed the whole time that I finished the registration paperwork, but she is registered and I do have her start date, her approximate start date. And then as I was backing out of my parking spot in the school, my foot got stuck on the gas when I was in reverse and thank God nobody was behind me because I like floored it backwards and my foot, like my shoe was stuck under the, the pedal. Um, and it was really scary and I hit a couple cones. And then I come out here with the stroller and all the bags and stuff and I can't find the car. So I was like beeping my thing and I thought someone stole my car because my car wasn't responding. I did eventually find it right where I left it. I just couldn't remember where that was. And now we're going home and I'm probably gonna change because I am too hot to be wearing a denim jacket. All right, here's the old toothbrushes. As you can see, clearly needed to be replaced. These aren't even that old. It's just that the yellow one Stella's toothbrush, uh, brushing her back molars is kind of like brushing the teeth of an alligator. Like she just clamps her jaw down and doesn't release. So we got these and she'll have a different yellow one and they have suction cups on the bottom, which I like because they'll stick to the counter. You guys want to brush your teeth? Who wants which one? Do you want yellow or do you want blue? Blue. You want blue? Okay. I always brush their teeth first and then I let them go in and do it. I know some people do it the opposite way and they let their kids brush, um, but I like to do the initial cleaning. Keep brushing, buddy. Other side. Good job. She's a big girl going to school and everything, but she's still a baby to me. Falling asleep on the couch almost every day. They have nap time at school, but I kind of don't think she's gonna take one. Even though she still needs one. Bath. What do you need other than a bath? Bath. Do you need to take a bath? Take a bath. Because you kind of have peanut butter on your face.
Okay, before I dump it, I know some of you think it's satisfying to see what I pulled out of the carpet. So here you go. It's definitely dirty. I blame the cat, honestly. He's always knocking the plants off of here. So I vacuumed the dirt up, but there's definitely still some in the carpet. So pretty gross. Here we are again on our walk of the day. You can't really tell, but it is raining. But since the trees up there, what'd you find? I don't know what that is. Looks like a walnut. Cool. Don't eat it. So anyways, since there's so many trees up here, you can hear the rain, but we're not actually getting wet, so it's really nice. And also, the kids are breaking in their new rain boots. Stella's got hers on too, but she's already tired. My goal with our daily walks right now is for one, to take advantage of the nice weather before we're inside all winter. Two, to get out as much as possible before Stella's in school every day with both the kids, because Fievel and I can obviously still do this. Fievel, stay away from the edge. You're freaking me out, dude. Uh, am I on two or three? I don't remember. To also to be out here every day so that way I can see all the leaves change for the fall. I think that would be so beautiful. I think I missed the peak of the color change last year. I just kind of saw when they were um, brown and falling off. And also, like I talked about in the last video, I like to practice my foraging skills, my identification. Last video I showed you guys some striped mushrooms on a tree, and a lot of you said they were turkey tails. And I think you're right. Sorry, I'm always watching behind me, make sure there's no animals or creeps checking up behind me, sneaking up behind me. Animals? A fire truck? A fire truck? I don't see either of those things. Really break in those rain boots, five all Jump, jump, jump. Hey, Stella, do you want to get out and stomp too? Do you want to go stomp in the puddle with your brother? Go stomp in the puddle, go get it. Good job. Nice. He found a really big leaf. I really hope it's not poisonous or something. Cool! Don't put it on your face. Here's kind of a fun one. So I keep finding these little like squishy fruits all over the ground here. I can't figure out where they came from. I kind of thought they were wild persimmons at first, but they're not the right color. You don't need to pick anything up. Um, so yeah, I'm going to look that up when I get home. Alright guys, I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to go get puff mushrooms because they're freaking massive and they're still there I just want one of them I just want to experience the powder puff mushroom or whatever this is called look at it, it's huge all right I'm out of breath because I had to climb into a ravine and it did not look like it was that steep but I got it I got a puff ball mushroom or a powder ball mushroom or puff ball mushroom I don't know we're gonna cut it open when we get home. Make sure it doesn't have spores or whatever it's not supposed to have. All right, guys, we are done with our walk. We only did a mile today, but I am so psyched that I have my puff mushroom. Look at this thing. Did you think it was this big? It's huge. And there's a bunch of them, so don't worry. I didn't take all of them. So like animals can eat them still. I know it's a puffball mushroom and safe to eat because it doesn't have gills and it has no color and obviously it's puffy so like pumpkins. that's how you know what it is. The kids think it's a pumpkin. They keep asking me for it. I'm going to clean it with um, vinegar when I get home. I'm going to cut it open and make sure it has no color on the inside because that's how you know that it's like still good. Um, apparently they're very flavorless. They're like the tofu of mushrooms. They just take on the flavor of like whatever you cook them in and you're supposed to cook them right away because they don't stay good for very long. So I'm thinking I'm gonna marinate it like a steak and then cook it into like mushroom burgers because it's huge. I've seen people grilling it. I don't have a grill, but I'm so excited. My first like huge foraging find is this big old mushroom. I just think this stuff is like so fascinating. I told my dad about it recently. <laughs> I sent him a picture of a bunch of mushrooms that I had picked just to like look at up close. And he was like, if you need food, I'll send you food. Like, why are you doing this? It's just fun. I think it's so fascinating. Um, and also like, God forbid, like we do have a food shortage. Like I can find food in the forest.
All right guys, unfortunately, and it kills me to say this, I don't think we're gonna be tasting the puffball mushroom. Unfortunately, you're not supposed to eat them if they're anything but pure white, and if they start having like yellow on them, you can't even really tell with the camera, I think. There's like, ah, you can probably tell right here. It's like getting yellow here. The rest of it's pure white, but just because it has the yellow, apparently, according to Google, I'm. This is not me saying this. According to Google, if they start to turn yellow, it means they're like entering the reproductive phase, which means they're no longer safe to eat and they can make you sick. So this was a fun experiment. I'm glad that we found this and I got to like have my first puffball mushroom, but we're not gonna be eating it. We're gonna be throwing it away. This is so cool though. And I was so excited to try it, but it is like the weirdest texture of all time. It's so squishy but yeah there's a little bit of yellow on all of these pieces all right and now it's the next day um i'm sorry i forgot to end yesterday's vlog i think how i'm gonna do vlogtober this year is i'm gonna vlog or post videos during the weekdays so like monday through friday and then not post on the weekend i think that just makes the most sense for me because then i have two days off but i'm still filming but that gives me time to like catch up and like edit everything together. So hopefully that works for you guys. We're actually headed back out right now to uh, go pick black walnuts in the forest. I sound like such a weirdo, but thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.